I joined Roblox 14 years ago, and I've been a Roblox developer for almost 10 years. Let's look at all the games I've made throughout the years and see what 10 years of progress looks like, shall we? I would say that this is the actual first game that I've ever created, if you don't count any starter places. As I was playing the game, drinking away with my soda that I had in my hand, I was met with a special guest. New <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Newbert, <laughs> Newbert, what are you doing here, Newbert? <laughs> why are you why are you in this game, bro? All right, uh well, well, welcome to the 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 Brawl Dev establishment uh diner. Uh, what well, what would you like to eat, Newbert? <laughs> you going to get the the Brawl burger with some Brawl fries? The the <laughs> 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 All right, all right. I got you, fam. I got you. The Brawl Dev burger with the Brawl Dev fries. Here's your your your, your Brawl Dev burger and then here's your your Brawl Dev chips. That is going to be 5 Brawl bucks. Do you have your 5? Brawl... <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I don't have fries. No, give me my money, bro. Get get back here. You will not escape from me. Give me my money. Okay, I'm here to ruin your establishment. Oh, hi. Welcome to Chili's. Bro, get over here. <laughs> welcome to Newbert. I take your order. I request for you to take down your restaurant. <laughs> if, if you don't comply, then I will have to DMCA strike your restaurant. No, not not the copyright striking my restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I am gonna do it. I'm gonna copy strike your restaurant. <laughs> no, I thought the Rupert, 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 the restaurant was trademarked. What the hell? Okay. How did you get food out of this? Oh, you. Oh, you, I mean, you just you just type it in the. Bro, are you dumb, Newbert? Why are you dumb? No, I, 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 <laughs> Excuse me, I'm one years old and I'm playing in 20 year old Roblox It's so dumb, Newbert. Okay, next game on our list is Sword Fighting Tournament, parentheses old, parentheses broken. <laughs> Why did I title it like that, bro? That's so weird. Okay, this is my first sword fighting game that I ever created. Look at this lobby, bro. <laughs> I got like six portals over here using particle emitters. We even got like a little sign here using a chat. This is amazing. Wait, oh my god, Newbert, get away from me, Newbert. Wait, I need to get a sword. <laughs> No! <laughs> you're Newbert so <laughs> you're so evil, Newbert. Oh my god, I I gotta get my revenge, bro, Newbert. Why are you dancing? Okay, like I'm about to I'm about to defeat you. <laughs> get back here. No, this game. <laughs> ah. Yeah, uh. I am undefeated. Oh my god, Newbert. He's about to he's about to get him. He's about to get him. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to do a little strategy. Okay, like uh, you're you're not gonna see it coming. Crap, you're you're on the other side. It looks like Brawl Davis is so smart after all. Newbert <laughs> outsmarts it. As far as no, oh, oh, God, no. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, let, let's go to the second portal. Let's go to the green portal. Oh, wah. God damn. Okay. Wah. Uh, so I just jumped into a game called Colorful Obby and Dear God, this is atrocious. <laughs> there was like these VIP doors over here. And the thing with these VIP doors, is these were really common in old Roblox games. The only way that developers were able to be monetized were through t-shirts that they would sell inside of their games for their users to buy. And if they bought those t-shirts, then they'd be able to go through these doors and everyone else wouldn't be able to because you have to wear the t-shirt that's associated with this game. Now, if you're wondering what's inside of these places, it's kind of just a bunch of tool givers and hacks givers which are like very very useless so i think like the only reason people actually bought these were to like just stupidly like spend, bragging rights. yeah bragging rights just to, like spend their money for like literally no reason it's like Haha, i'm inside of this room and you can't access it because you got to pay money oh yeah so also like this thing down here this is uh what you call terrain water so i actually added this to my obby right when roblox added terrain uh like materials so i was like oh this looks pretty cool i might actually like add water it's no longer just a art that pretends to be water it's like water that has default physics built into it which is pretty nice oh my gosh we did it this obby is still work in progress the full obby will, re will release soon yeah no I, I really wonder when this is going to be released i made this game like eight years ago <laughs> let's now talk about my most successful solo game that i've created on roblox cybernetic tycoon now <laughs> i have quite a lot to say about this game i've been through a lot when i uh, created this game this game was a year in development and the reason it took that long was because i spent so much time just like 
messing around with studio but also it was very on and off with the development as well and also i just had a bunch of school at the time so i didn't really focus too much on this game i kind of just picked up the game whenever i felt like i wanted to work on the game and just tinker around and, and experiment with stuff so that's why the game took so long but by the end this game got six million visits and it became part of the top 150 roblox games in terms of conquering users for a short period of time so at the time six million visits was actually a lot you can achieve six million visits nowadays like it's still kind of challenging but back then that was a pretty big deal and if we were to just go through with this game uh there were actual systems that i created that utilized scripting and i still <laughs> use a tycoon kit but at least this was a tycoon kit that was more modernized or at least it looked pretty good to use for a tycoon kit and this is the first tycoon that i actually completed as well and we have other cool features to make the game progression really good like we have these enemies where if you kill them then you get this secondary currency and you can actually buy stuff from this shop and you continue to progress through this tycoon until you actually reach all the way to the end and then later i created this reboot system that allows you to reboot your entire tycoon and then sometime later because this game was at its peak in the top 150 games on roblox uh i had a few offers from people to buy this game for me eventually i had this one guy who actually did buy the game from me who then later asked me to work on a sequel with him and he sort of became my boss he's now like one of the the biggest people working on roblox games behind the scenes with like other people remember how i said i made a sequel to this game well this is it unfortunately <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding after the success that was cybernetic tycoon the guy who originally bought the game from me asked me if i wanted to be brought on as their scripter for the sequel called cybernetic tycoon 2 and at least from what i can say from this game it definitely did not take a whole year to make it compared to the first one. it only took let's say about i think two months because i worked on this with a project manager a builder and a ui designer all at the same time and it literally is just a reskin of the exact same game, but put into like a more modernized feel to it. It's like a more modern version of the original game. Um, so some things that I guess are special about this game compared to the previous one was I made it so that there are more advancements with the enemy AI. There's this one enemy that randomly shoots lasers at you if you're within range of it, kind of like the Minecraft skeleton, how that AI works. Generally just improvements to literally everything about the game. Like this is literally just the same game, but it's improved. This made me realize that working with a team is actually pretty fun. Like I do like it when uh, I have like a boss who just gives me certain tasks assigned and I just like go and try and figure out how to complete them and then have them just manage everything else and I can just focus on the scripting part. I actually did like that dynamic a lot compared to making all the creative decisions myself. Although I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have as much emotional investment to this game as I did with the previous one because the previous one was a playground for me to just mess around, add features whenever I felt like it. This one felt more corporatized, I guess, because there were some monetization tactics that I didn't even think of having in the previous game. And so, yeah, that's literally what this game is. It's just a revamp of the previous one. Reaction test by Brawl Battle? Bro, are you serious? This is when you know that when I'm in that, in that certain phase in my game development journey where I'm just tackling side quests and just making random games that like have no rhyme or purpose to them. Okay, I have the best reaction time of 0 0.262. Okay, I want to see if you can beat that. Oh, oh my god, 0 0.267. You were close, bro. I'm on the hoverboard and the bike at the same time. Let's go. Let's go. Why are you like sliding like half of your body? <laughs> bro, what are you doing with your character? <laughs> <laughs> During my time as a Roblox developer, I've created so many games, and problem solving is a crucial skill needed for successful developers. However, finding good resources to develop the skill can be challenging. So I've been using a service called Brilliant, which is the sponsor of today's video. Brilliant is a platform that lets you learn with thousands of interactive lessons in subjects like computer science, math, data analytics, and AI. The way you learn from Brilliant is surprisingly effective with their approach. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with the concepts. Learning a little bit every day is also crucial to remembering the concepts. Brilliant promotes this through daily lessons, <laughs> gamification, and even leaderboards to keep you coming back to learn more. Some of the content I think you'll love are their interactive programming courses like Programming with Python, which specializes in teaching you how to code in one of the most in-demand programming languages in the world with over 40 lessons and 470 exercises to help develop the skills you need to start building projects from day 
one. Go ahead and try Brilliant for free by visiting brilliant.org slash brawldev, scanning the on-screen QR code, or clicking the first link in the description. And if you like it, you can get a 20% off annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. If this video inspired you to start making your own Roblox games, then you can check out my beginner scripting tutorial guide where I teach you everything that you need to know to start making Roblox games today. And if you enjoyed this video, then I encourage you to leave a like on this video. I want to try to make a goal of getting 1000 likes on this video so that I can make a part two to this where we explore more of my old Roblox games. I think that would be really helpful and I would appreciate it a lot. So with that being said, that is going Going to be it for this video on playing my old Roblox games, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.